Thanks, John. Uh, I appreciate you inviting me today, and I appreciate the uh, very nice uh, introduction. My name is Jim Arkebauer. My company is Venture Associates. We're an investment banking and management consulting firm based here in Denver. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I'm here primarily to chat about uh, Rocky's Venture Club. Uh, I'll give you a little background to maybe to uh, start this off with. I've been entrepreneuring all my life, uh, all my adult life anyway, and have been involved in all types of businesses from manufacturing to retail to service organizations. And, and for the last uh, 25 years, I started Venture Associates in 1982. And we've changed our concept and adopted to the business trends over the time, over that time period. Originally, we were involved in uh, taking small companies public because that's where, the, that's where the venture capital was coming from at that stage of the game. And I had come out of, I had been a stockbroker for a couple of years prior to starting Venture Associates. And the typical format at that point in time was to, to take angel investors and they would invest the initial seed money in companies, frequently a quarter of a million to a half a million dollars. And then we would go out on the market from a stock brokerage standpoint and raise another million to two or three million dollars in financing from, uh, from, from the general public and take the companies public. And I did, I would probably have been involved in 40 to 50 different public companies, but that's how Venture Associates started. And in the process of doing that, one of the things that I, that I needed was a deal flow and I needed to get projects. And I was working a project down in Santa Fe, New Mexico and, and working with a fellow down there by the name of A. David Silver, who was a very <coughs> famous entrepreneurial consultant at that point in time and was a mentor to me in my book writing endeavors. And David invited me down to, to speak about what I was doing up here in, De in the big city in Denver at a meeting he had down there. And it turned out that he was, he was a Santa Fe private equity group was the name of that group. And it was a super idea because it basically promoted networking for entrepreneurs and gave entrepreneurs an opportunity to get up and make the presentation about their company so that they could possibly attract financing from the angel investors that were in the Santa Fe area. I came back to Denver, and this was like about 83 or 84 sometime, and teamed up with a fellow by the name of John Fitzgerald. And John Fitzgerald was at that point in time known as a headhunter. Today he would be a human resources consultant as opposed to a headhunter. <laughs> But John and I got a bunch of other, about six other people together, and we started the concept of Rocky's Venture Club. And the original idea was it was be a, net, a group for networking for entrepreneurs, where entrepreneurs could come in and, and get expert advice and get networking opportunities with all types of professional advisors from the attorneys and consultants and management consultants, and also had the, the opportunity to access capital through the networking opportunities that would come up from, from, in, from angel and venture capital firms. That was the original premise of the group. It still holds true today, 24 years later, is still what we're all about. And this was in, 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 in June of 84, and we were, were one of the fourth or fifth groups started at that point in time, and are one of the top of the groups, and have been, of the 100, 150 of these groups, that are located now all over the country. You can check your local directories or go, in or go on the online and internet and you can, you can Google for venture groups or venture capital groups and, and you'll find different groups like ours all over the country. So our basic format is we meet once a month. You generally for Rockies Venture Club it's the second Tuesday of the month and it's a dinner meeting. We meet at the Marriott Center downtown Networking starts about 5.15 to 6 o'clock, cocktails and networking. At 6 o'clock, we have a sit-down dinner, and at, and at the dinner, you're guaranteed to enter, be able to introduce yourself to nine other people at your table, talk about what you do, why you're there, what you're looking for, and, and just on a direct basis. One of our little side notes is if you didn't bring your calling cards, we wonder why you came. So, <laughs> Then about 6.40, we start two to five five-minute presenters, and these are entrepreneurs who have put together a presentation and they're seeking financing and they have an opportunity to get up and have five minutes and we hold it pretty strictly to five minutes to make a presentation about their business and explain the type, their, what their business is and how much money they're looking for. And then that's followed by a speaker or a topic that's germane to entrepreneurship. As an example, this last Tuesday's meeting, we had a panel who spoke about angel financing, the current state of affairs with angel financing, how to obtain angel financing. There was a Q&A period afterwards from the audience, and the meeting was over about eight o'clock. So it was basically a two-hour, pretty intense period 
of opportunities of networking and information gathering and educational value that comes from those meetings. Now, twice a year we have two major events. Coming up in May, we have our Colorado Capital Conference. And this is an all-day event whereby it has two tracks. One track is an educational track where there's panels and speakers all day long on lots of subject matter that's germane to entrepreneurship and venture capital, how to, how to write business plans, how to do marketing, what are the latest web, web two trends in, in, in marketing, this, this type of thing. The other track is an edu is a investor track where we pre-screen entrepreneurs for presentation for financing. The morning track is angel financing and there's an angel panel where a pre-selected group of about eight companies come in and present their project to this panel and to the audience and there's a brief Q&A with that. In the afternoon there's a panel, to, there's a angel <coughs> presentations for companies who are seeking venture capital level financing. And then there's a keynote speaker at, at noon and a breakfast keynote speaker and our final presentations are around four o'clock in the afternoon and that typically has been a venture capital panel where we invite venture capitalists from both local and from the national scene to come in and talk about their particular niche of funding that they're doing and also the, the current state of venture capital industry-wise, what are the hot topics, what are the hot subject areas, and primarily what's going on in, for, in venture capital in Colorado. In the fall, we have in November, we have an, uh, another all-day type of meeting that has is morphed into all day type of meeting. It started out being an evening meeting, then went to an afternoon and evening meeting. This last year was an all day meeting. And that meeting was was centered on strictly on, on investment and on financing. And in that meeting, we had 40 different companies that came in. It was all day long with a keynote speaker at lunchtime. But the primary thing was there were 40 companies that came in and made presentations to the group of individuals that were out there. So in that process, for the, we commonly have 350 to 400 people at our June, at our May meeting, the Colorado Capital Conference, and at the Fall Financing Forum this last year, we had 600 attendees at that. So it's a, it's a really pretty good source of having an opportunity on a continuing basis to get involved in the entrepreneurial scene and find out what's going on and do some real successful networking. Meta is here with me today. You can go to the Rockies Venture Club website which is rockiesventureclub.org, and fill in applications or check on the, on the upcoming events to either attend the meeting. They're, all the meetings are open to the public. There's some advantages to being a member and having a membership opportunity with the group, but it's a continuing life cycle. It's been interesting to us for 25 years of doing this, or 24 years of doing this, how we have the topics have changed. for. There was a time period here in Colorado in the 80s when there was a real tough job market. So we opened it up and we had a lot of entrepreneurs or what we lovingly called our unemployed CEOs <laughs> who were looking for jobs. And so we would give them an opportunity to get up there and, and spiel their talent, spiel, give their pitch. So we've had a lot of different variances. It was interesting, we had record numbers of membership in the right prior to the internet boom bust type of thing. We were up at 650 members and after that we kind of crashed and we got down to a low of 250 members. We're back up to, to about 450 members now. The membership is about evenly split in three areas. The first area is, serve, is, the, uh, is the financing sources in the form of angels and bankers and venture capitalists. The second area is the support professionals to venture capitalists, the guys who always try to get their hands in the, in the entrepreneur's pocket, the attorneys, the accountants, the management consultants. And the rest of the balance are people who just have a continuing interest in venture capital or new entrepreneurs and what's going on for entrepreneurship. So I see we're about done here. I'll be happy to take questions offline when we finish up. Thank you very much.